up today. Taylor Ward looks at a first pitch strike and we are underway on Friday Night Baseball from Fenway Park. Been a good start for Taylor Ward. He's reached base safely in every season. Well, it's got some power too. Can't make mistakes to him in her half of the strike zone because he definitely very good ball player. As Ward reaches out, taps it back to the mound, and he'll be the first out tonight. For Trout to begin the season. A very patient hitter. He doesn't chase a lot. So he's been drawing walks while he's behind here 0 2. I mean, that's the one thing about his greatness, the strike zone awareness. You rarely see him chase. Well, obviously a lot of power, but when you have a guy who isn't chasing, how much more difficult is the pitcher's job? Favor. The last week, he's over his last 12 now, as Yu Chang, the short. That backed up and. See, I like that pitch. That's the cutter, being able to tie up, especially the. These two teams playing in different divisions, different coasts, so this is the one chance. Tonight is the first game the Angels have played outside of June. Good pitch. Phil Nevin stars on the team. You're right. You get to inherit two of the game's best players and leaders. There's ball four. So Shohei Otani is the first base runner tonight. It's a two out walk. For Otani that's 35 straight games dating back to last season. He has reached base safely. I wonder if the Angels will run more than they have. They've only stolen four bases to begin the year. Down with a liner toward right for a base hit. He gets a cut of Anthony Wren going the other way. Big time arm from the outfield, too. He's not afraid to let it fly. Is Riff Snyder. That ball is off the top of the monster. And Rendon come on a hot 2021. He was with the Brewers last year. Between the two seasons, hit and that one at the very top of the big green wall in left field. Just missed a three run homer, but this is Jake Lamb. My kitchen sink at you. Alex Verdugo batting leadoff these days for the Boston Red Sox. Takes ball one. There's ball four. Well, this is a different uniform on top of a different uniform <laughs> tonight with the city connects weird to see the Red Sox mm -hmm. The whole point of this particular city connect look for the Red Sox was to honor this Monday I don't want to hear that type of blast when we come out the <laughs> mouth wing. still one ball two strikes on Turner you know? Sure, seven years from now, Justin. Here's Rafael Devers taking ball one. This is an intriguing matchup because of the power of. To get them to chase as well. Toward the monster and left, Taylor Ward runs up. Taylor Ward was. You know, seeing the iPads and the scouting and being innovative in that way. Ball a mile. Drury swings and misses. Tanner Houck gets a strikeout. Today's lineup is he's going to get a lot of chances to knock people in. So the Tampa Bay Rays, probably the worst time to run into that buzzsaw right now as the Rays are 13 and 0. Forms, if you will, and so they're flying high over there. Really fun ball club. They're talented. They're athletic. Obviously, they can throw. Games out of first, you are. For the Red Sox, eight games out already as they got swept in Tampa Bay. They've actually lost era to start 13 and 0 as Luis Renjifo takes ball four. Ooh, that was close. How one? Here's Logan Ohapi. He's been somewhat of a rookie sensation here in the first couple weeks of the calling. So it's hard to learn how to hit and how to how to prepare in the big leagues, but there's strike one to Taylor Ward. Hawk's ability will be key. Renhifo running. And the throw by Connor Wong's a good one. Renhifo's out. He tries on the year. It's a pitch. So far this year. Sandoval falls behind. Three balls, one strike on Hernandez. Good pitch. There's the changeup, and he busts out on three and one. 
That's cold blooded. Trout is posted for the first out here in the second. Man. <laughs> but he was coming up and I was going out, if you will, and uh, he's always posted a lot of power to Jeff. Now a fastball blown by him for strike three. For strikeout tonight for Patrick Sandoval. Drop with it. There's a good pitch from Sandoval to get ahead of Casas. One ball, two strikes. You know, Alex Cora. Very pesky and very talented. A lot of people that you talk to about Alex Cora, the player. Sticks are in the playoffs. Tamden pops this one up. Christian Arroyo retired. Yeah, Wayne. That's Mantle. Willie Mays. I yeah. mean, these are guys that are, you know, when you start getting compared to those years ago. Three balls, one strike now on Mike Trout. This Angel team in the postseason. I'm not just talking about the first round. I'm talking about going deep and, and, and representing the American League. Yeah, this isn't basketball where two great players can elevate you to a championship level. This isn't football. So get out of play. Devers chases after it. If you have consistent. Not one fouled at home. I would have swung at that. You would have swung, would you have hit it? Probably not. But that's okay. <laughs> they ran down past a diving Arroyo. Good second from might be the best in baseball. Hitting second base to George Springer hitting that home run. Roger Center got a little different look now. You know that position, that's a totally different lineup. Done some things to change up their offense. A little more left handed this year. The third, kind of a forgotten man in terms of the Mookie Betts trade, but he was part of it, along with Jeter. Wong, really talented behind the plate. I mean, it doesn't matter how much you get back for a trade like a, a player, Mookie Betts. I mean, you're not gonna. Not going to. Have you? Good pitch. Sandoval gets another strikeout, his third in a row, as he punches out. <laughs> What's he supposed to do? He was excited for that too. Gave me a little lean over. Fitty. Your batting average not be even, even your weight, and so you start to press a little bit. So Alice Cora talked about. And what it is. Like that one. Strike three called to Chang. Sandoval's got four straight strikeouts. Was for the Mexican team. Sandoval really used the WBC. Now the way Sandoval's pitching, he'll be moving over there soon. But Sandoval. He wanted that ball and he felt like he was the ace of Team Mexico. And he really set the tone for that ball club as a whole, honey, because if he's able to throw strikes like. Trout backs off. It's a base hit for Phil. And that's the first Boston comes from their leadoff. And the Red Sox have been facing mostly left handed starters for the last week. Rendon picks it to his left from his knees, wow. bounces the throw to second to retire.